Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you just can't take any more? Perhaps it's stress you're going through and you just can't deal with, or you're thinking that you just can't deal with what's going on right in front of you. Perhaps you were in a good place, but yet now you find yourself in a difficult one and that you're just struggling to function. Perhaps it's health you're dealing with and you're just going around and around and waiting for appointments to come through and you just find yourself feeling, what now? My life's on hold, but yet I've got all of these hopes, dreams and aspirations and yet nothing's taking form, nothing's taking flight. Perhaps it's work and you think I just try so hard and nothing's getting anywhere. Do you know what? All of those things I have felt. And whether it's something what you're going through right now and whether it be money, whether it be health, whether it be job, relationship, family. Do you know what? I'm soon to be turning 31 and it really does sort of teach you a lesson as you get older and you go through life. And I'm not going to sit here and try to proclaim that I've got the whole wealth of knowledge for everything in this life because I certainly haven't. I wish I did at times, not just for me, but for my family members as well. But I have been through some difficult and tough times. And the last six months have been really difficult. Let's put it this way. They've been that difficult. It's like been smashed on the floor, picked up and smashed again. And a lot of my subscribers will know I've recently done a clip which talked about what I've been going through. And to be quite honest with you, I was getting ready this morning and I said to myself, I ha I've had quite a busy day and I've had all sorts of things going on. And actually, do you know how my life has turned around in about the last month? Um... It, it truly is just so eye-opening and the message I have on today's clip, and I always say this because my channel, is, for me, is almost like the life stage, the good, the bad, yes, the ugly, all of the happy things, all of the, the things which make us just feel so blessed and, and so privileged in this life and the great celebrations, but yet the testing times and the things which we have to get together to get through it and the times where, do you know what, you just feel like you can't. I try to capture all of that on my channel as well as my passions or what I like to talk about on my channel as well. But do you know what, this last six months have been, it's took me places where in my mind, where I've just thought, you know, what on earth is happening with numerous A&E visits and just horrendous times with health and collapsing and, and seizures, whatever they're called. I'm still having investigations and one thing and another. But ultimately, I don't want to make this about that. But what I want to make this about is that actually perseverance is the key to getting through. It really, really is. Do you know what? And Purposely, and I always make sure that the shot view has got nothing in and make sure I'm a very obsessive person anyway, so there's never nothing too much to hide, to be quite honest with you. Um, but I always like to make sure things are smart and presentable for when we do the camera shot. But you know, I've left all things behind what I've been doing actually for the last hour or so, which in the next couple of days, I'm going to be actually going away, which is something I never ever thought I was ever going to do. I had gone from the start of this year being so stressed, so anxious, so worried and having physical issues, unfortunately, as well. But all of that. Um, and just so you've got a little bit of an insight, uh, unfortunately, sort of uh, problems with seizures, which I'm under a neurologist for um, and cardiac issues, potentially with the heart as well. Um, but throwing on stress, throw on worry and lots of things going on but still persevering and pushing forward in life. So just that quick snippet, there's a lot of pressure on somebody. Absolutely, it's going to be. And I kind of almost sometimes feel that analogy that you've got the stress, you've got the worry, you've got the physical things in the middle, which we can't necessarily control, but just to be healthy and well as much as possible. And you've got that life vice, which is squishing and squishing and squishing. And unfortunately, my mind and body and brain seem to develop just the passing out and the seizure episode of just enough's enough down on the floor and that's what would happen I would wake up feeling very confused very mixed up so all of that's going on and do you know what I actually thought I mean it got to the stage this first half a year that actually every couple of days that was happening and I wouldn't remember things my mind would be foggy I would struggle with work but yet I'm really proud of the fact that I managed to keep pushing through with work to now to now in the last month to five weeks, maybe six weeks of really controlling and separating stress. Okay, stress and worry and all those things. Now, I know I've just given you probably a little bit more than what I anticipated to give away. But what I'm trying to get across here is that perseverance is key. Because you know, when we go through those storms in life, and let's put it this way, everybody will go through it 
whether it be now, whether it be in a couple of days, in a few months, years, we, we all go through something, we're all going through something. Do you know, but we do get there. And a lot of people will think to myself, will think right now, what on earth is he going on about? There's this guy sat here talking about all of this. How on earth does perseverance get you through, keeps you going? Do you know what it does? Because I always think whatever we go through in this life, we've got two choices. We can either sit in a corner or stay in bed or sit in a chair and we can just, I'm going to say this, fester, okay? Yes, sometimes we go through bad things. Sometimes we do. But do you know what? We can either stay there and do you know what? Sometimes that is... That's that's quite sort of that's that's viable to do. Do you know what? sometimes when we go through these things, sometimes you need to just sit there. You need to sit there and take a moment. And do you know what? Yeah, it's it's horrible when you go through these nasty things and whether it be health and all of what we've talked about, um, and bereavement when we lose somebody who we love, sometimes you just want to sit there and you just want to be still and sometimes just getting through the day is a challenge. Okay. But we get two choices that we can either just sit and exist, or infester, let's put it that way, or we can actually, do you know what, yes this is going on, yes this situation is going on, it's really damn hard, but I'm going to do this, and I'm going to keep pushing on, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to persevere, and I'm going to do this little by little, I'm going to continue, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to give it all what I've got, because ultimately if I just sit there and fester, which actually, do you know what, sometimes, Sometimes, yeah, do not, that can absolutely justify what I'm going through. The hell I'm going through, that's all I'm going to want to do. Okay, for some people, in that moment in time, they will need to do that. But you will one day realise, okay, very, very quickly, that you've got two options to keep going to push forward. And do not, this six-month period, and that's why I left all my, um, I'm currently in, the, uh, spent the afternoon getting my stuff ready, my, um, I've been to the crematorium for my dear Nan, who um, who I love and I, I lost uh, in back in May of 21, um, which is a huge heartbreak. And going to what we're saying here, there was many times where I felt that I couldn't go forward with that. So I've been to the crematorium today. I've laid flowers. I've tended to her and my grandfather's um, grave and my nanny's bench. And I've had my brother and my sister-in-law, so then this uh, here as well, uh, this afternoon. And then I've been going getting my things ready for going away uh, with the family with my brother, my sister-in-law, niece, nephew, my other brother, my mum, it's going to be amazing, so I'm really looking forward to it. But do you know what? That's what we're talking about here. Perseverance is key and it gets us through. I would have never thought a couple of months back that I would even be doing that. Getting on a plane, having these full seizures, episodes, spells, whatever you want to call it, I know. I thought all that was behind me. I thought I couldn't do that. And do you know what? When you go through these things, you never know how strong you are, okay? There will be times which is absolutely applicable. Sit there. You, whatever you're going through is so real and just so damn right terrible and awful and horrible, whether it be health, whatever you're going through, just sit there. But you will realise that you actually do have two choices. And I'm not saying never do that because sometimes you've got to do that to then realise that actually, do you know what, I can either sit here and carry on or I can push forward and I can persevere and I can use that, that kind of persistence and kind of keep pushing and doing what I can um, and then you soon find your way in a position where actually, do you know what, you're making strides. You're making strides and you might not be making the situation any better when you've lost someone who is your absolute world. And believe you me, I know, and I lost my dear Nan, my mum's mum. I thought life was over, to be quite honest with you. I, I, this, this person who was everything to me was no longer physically there for me to hug and and to talk to and to love. My faith is a huge strength to me. It really, really is. Now, I know that's not for everybody and it's not my job to be able to put that on people at all. But what I would actually say is that, well, I sometimes have a little bit of a smile in my mind thinking, okay, if you don't believe in him, that's absolutely fine, but he believes in you. And I always say it to my brothers. But do you know what? Well, whatever anybody is going through, whether it be mental health, and I appreciate with depression, things like that, what some people go through, you can't always do that. You can't look forward. You can't find that strength to strive forward. But the persistence in this life of that actually, okay, what you done yesterday, I'm just going to try to do a little bit more today. I'm going to try to do a little bit more the next day. Because do you know what, my friend, whatever you are going through, persistence is key to keep going. And it's like anything, isn't it, in life? 
if you're trying to achieve something, if you're trying to get better at something, if you're trying to excel in your career, your relationship, whether it be monetary issues, whether it be family, whether it be health, someone you love is going through something and is pulling your heart out, persistence to keep going. We all, sadly in this world, face things where we could just pull the covers over our head and just stay there. But you know what, we have to actually realise that, and you know what, sometimes in that, in that moment, in that storm we're going through, and we all go through storms in this life, you can't see that, that you need to keep going to persevere because you need to almost cocoon, first of all. You need to sit, you need to fester, and then you actually start to see that actually I've got two choices. I can continue being here. Some people don't, don't do that stage. That's great. If you can be that strong and never have to do that stage, but always be aware that some people will need to do that stage, that cocooning, that festering, and then the two decisions come clear. That actually I can continue this, or I can get stronger and I can support that person who's going through hell in this life. Or I can get stronger and I can support that person in my family. Or I can get stronger, I've had a setback, but do you know what, my relationship's worth everything. And my wife or your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever is everything to you and you're gonna fight for this and you're gonna keep going and you are tested and you've had rubbish thrown at you, but you're in the middle of a storm and this storm's gonna pass and it's all worth it. It could be health, that you're waiting for results, you're waiting for appointments to come through, but yet every day is a blessing, my friend, so it's up to us to grasp it, love it, enjoy it, treasure it, and keep going with it. Me, this year, this year, do you know, this first six months, perseverance, and I've had days where I've thought to myself, oh, my head feels so strange, it feels so weird, what on earth is happening to me? And it actually dawned on me in an A&E visit, um, that actually, do you know, Bradley, there may well be something physically wrong somewhere, but I am certainly not helping with how much I stress, how much I worry, how much I persistently obsess at work that this has got to be perfect. And you know, actually, when you actually sit back and you think that there is only one of us in this world, and for that fact, that we are so sheer amazing because there is one of us in this world. So don't try and be somebody else because that's already taken, they've been taken, be you. And actually, do you know what? You are so amazing Okay, stick with me. You are so amazing because there's only one of you here, but you're amazing in the fact that you carry all of your imperfections as well. So there is nothing in this world which is perfect, but we can be perfect through owning those things which make us us. So for example, if somebody walks along and for example, they think to themselves they've never been happy with their weight or perhaps, I don't know, they're losing their hair. Let's be like that. Let's talk about vanity, for example, or they've got a long-term health issue or they may have just gone through something and they're absolutely financially destitute or they may have just finished their relationship or they may not have gone and done what they wanted to educate in education or they may not be where they want to be in life. They may have tried first, second, third, fourth time. All of that, you are sure amazing because there is only one of you in this life. Okay, and all of what people call as imperfections, you're perfect because you are you and there is only one in this world, okay? So walk in that fact, walk in that fact with confidence, with grace and with that comfort and that acceptance and that contentness to think that actually you are you, you are where you're meant to be and okay, some things haven't gone right for me. In fact, a lot hasn't gone right for me. But you can get yourself up in the morning and the blessing of life that you are here again. You get to do all of this again. You get to try again. I always say to whoever I talk to in this life, there is very, very little in this world we cannot correct, we cannot work hard at, we cannot change. And there it is. Persistence is key to getting through. So whether it's low mood we go through, whether it's depression, whether it's health, whether it's financial, relationship, loved ones, you name it, whatever, that word keeps coming up, perseverance. If I put myself out there and just sit there, and sometimes I need to do that, shortly after I realize that I've got another choice and I can get up and I can go again and I can support whatever I'm going through, that loved one, that health issue, financial, you can get up and go again. You really, really can. Perseverance is key. Going back to what I've done right now and going through, I never ever thought with health issues that I would actually get to the point where actually in a couple of days time I'm gonna be celebrating my birthday. I've still gotta be careful with health issues and one thing or another, but I've really tried to work on stress. I've really tried to work on worry and moments of anxiousness. And actually I'm looking forward to spending uh, some time away with the family. And um, do you know, I thought my life was over when my nan, when I lost my nan. Um, and I'll be honest, I still can't say that word died because she is with me always. My faith is a huge, huge, huge 
directing uh, force in my life, the guidance. My parents have been blessed in this life. I know I say I don't know how the Lord ever done it, but he blessed me with an incredible mum, an incredible dad, and on that parent table is my dear nanny as well. And um, do you know what? Whenever I've... And that's just it. Nothing nothing is ever what we set our minds to think, this is, this is how I'm going to have my life. This is what it's going to be. Do you know what? Unfortunately, there will be storms which we will all go through. But... It's that perseverance which keeps us going. The fact, actually, that when I lost my nan, I thought life was over. But then I actually think with me, do you know what? Every step in this life I take, she's with me, always here. She's with me. She's looking down over me. She's with me always. She's with the Lord above. And do you know what? I'm going to be okay because he knows what I'm going through. He knows what's up ahead. He created me in his own image. And do you know what? Yes, sometimes I might well make mistakes. Sometimes I might not always get it right sometimes i might get it terribly wrong but he is there and i have that relationship that that guidance that love it will always it will always show me the way and i will always be okay because through my faith it gives me a lot of strength that actually do you know what he's with me through these difficult times he's with me walking through that valley in this life Jesus is with me through all of what he done through for me. Um, sorry, for all what he done for me, for the love for me. And it's and it's just that actually now all I need to concentrate on is leading a good life, loving him, loving my family, helping positivity in this world and creating goodness where I can and, and just being a good person. And of course, faith is not everybody. It's not my job to sit here and say to somebody that they must have faith. But you know, if you haven't got faith, what I would say to you is take, take homage, take, take contentness and almost warmth in the fact that actually there is only one of you in this world. And the one piece of advice I would give to anybody in this world is perseverance is key. Perseverance is key to getting you through, whether it's striving for success, whether it's going through health, whether it's going through relationship, whether it's going through family. You're going to get there, my friend, because one day you'll realize, even not now, if you're sat there and you're thinking, I just can't do it right now, that's fine. Not everybody has to do that. People can see it straight away that they have to keep persevering. Some people can't. That's absolutely fine. Some people have to sit there for weeks on end, first of all, before they actually see that option in their life, that they have to get up and they have to go. You don't have to. We've all heard of people. We've all seen people who can't. It's up to us to be able to help install that perseverance in people. It's up to us to be able to almost show that teaching that actually, do you know what? There is a greaterness in front of you and you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this because you are a strong person. Do you know what? There's all incredible things in this world. Uh, we hear about it all the time, but some people seem to think, and do you know what? Unfortunately, go through hell and actually think, do you know what? This is never going to be me. But keep persevering because even though that... There is only one of you in this world. You've got an amazing journey ahead of you. But sometimes it's just persevering through all of the storms, all of the horribleness before you see your greatness. And you're going to get there, my friend. You truly, truly are. On that note, God bless. Take great care. And if you're having a down day today, if you're having a low moment today, that's fine. Stay exactly where you are right now, but be kind to yourself. And soon, probably a family member down on the front door. And my dad's changed it to memory. I think from the musical Cats, thanks for that. <laughs> but on that note, you're going you're gonna to get there. You're going to get there and that perseverance is going to come your way and you're going to see that option that you've just got to keep going. And you're going to get there, my friends. You truly are. On that note, God bless. Take great care. I'm right here. If you want to drop a question, if you want to leave a comment, I will do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. It's been an absolute privilege doing this clip. And you know what? Until next time, God bless you. Take great care. Bye for now.